Tonight, a tragic milestone as we mark 500 lives lost to violence across the city of Philadelphia so far this year, and there are still 36 days left in 2021. I'm Shari Williams. Rick is off. Christy Leto is joining us. And the big story, the latest acts of deadly violence claim the life of a 55-year-old woman in South Philadelphia. That's right. Mayor Kenny saying late tonight that he's heartbroken and his administration takes this crisis very seriously. Action News reporter Bob Brooks joins us live from police headquarters. Bob, at this rate, we're on tap to set a new record by the end of the year. Yeah, Shari and Christy, that's right. One, that number is one. One more homicide in the city will have a new record in that department. Meanwhile, what happened tonight? Police say again a 55 year old woman was shot and killed. It happened in broad daylight on the street. First, we hear the victim scream for help. Then she enters frame with the suspect not far behind. Then he raises his arm and pulls the trigger, firing five times. And police say the victim, a 55 year old woman, was shot three times. The 500th homicide in the city happened right before dark at the corner of 7th and Jackson Streets in South Philadelphia. Police add it was a domestic incident and the couple lives right on the block. The suspect, whom you see calmly walking away eastbound on Jackson Street, is still at large. But Philadelphia Police Inspector D.F. Pace says he should turn himself in. We know who this person is and if that person happens to be watching this broadcast, we would encourage him to just simply turn himself in at this point. The inspector also says it's an extremely tragic time for the city. 500 homicides ties the city's record for most ever in a year. It's a number, however, we can't simply say because it's the 500th, it's any more special than any of the 499 that preceded it. Each is a life. Each is a person who had family. In a statement tonight, Philadelphia Police Commissioner Daniel Outlaw wrote, there are not enough words to comfort our grieving families in their time of loss. However, I want these families to know that seeking justice for their loved ones remains a top priority for the Philadelphia Police Department. Tonight, there was also another tragic shooting. A teenager was shot in the face, sitting inside of a vehicle outside of his home. This happened in the 2200 block of North 8th Street in North Philadelphia. Luckily, he's in stable condition. Now, Christy, as far as that shooting in North Philadelphia goes, no arrests yet again, though. With just one more homicide here in Philadelphia, the new record tragically will be set. From our reporting live outside police headquarters, Bob Brooks for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Christy. Okay, Bob, thank you.